did you guys meet? We need to know the story. We met at Coachella. Hi. Hi. This is your trailer? Yeah, I'm in the band. We're performing on the main stage. August Moon? Yeah. I met That's someone tonight. Cool. I feel a little inspired. This one's called Closer. Someone, we need you up front. Okay. Like, now. I don't know if you remember me, but we met in Coachella. Yes, I remember you. Well, I desperately need some artwork. Why don't we start in the back? I like these. Ah, fantastic. This piece is from my friend Sarah. What's it called? Unclose me. And what do you feel when you look at it? Everything. What is that song? Uh, it's nothing, really. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm too old for you. I got not. about what people will say. I don't care what they say. We're gonna dance before we walk up the moon and I'm hitting the ground like we're barking. We're gonna dance before we walk. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, oh. I didn't know my being happy would piss so many people off. Did I not warn you? People hate happy women. What are you going to do? Can you dress? No. <laughs> I have always been pretty tiny, but I just had belly fat that I could not get rid of. Here's a what I eat in a day as a gluten-free vegan. Here's a picture of me now. Thing. So I just got out of kind of like rehab. I just can't date anyone. Oh, okay. We'll just hang. Yeah, I had an eating thing. Body stuff as well as other stuff. You helped yourself. You should celebrate that. Tell me what's been happening since rehab. I made friends. My therapist thinks I'm using you. What? I use you. <laughs> Have you been going to the 12-step meetings? I just don't really get how that's supposed to help me and switch off what my brain automatically does. What does your brain do? I just can't see you do this to yourself anymore. Don't trust your brain, okay? If you want to know what you look like, just ask me and I'll tell you. Sorry to break it to you, buddy, but this is not your job. Never was. I help you, you help me, I need you, you need me. That's how it goes. Don't text Ethan. I no, can text no. whoever I want, You're Casey. always doing whatever you want. That's the problem. You can't be always so concerned with what's wrong all the time, Ethan. What are you even talking about? I just want you to be happy. Do you think this makes me happy? Count on me to Love me. I wasn't lying. You still love me? You have a past. And I can appreciate that. You have sad eyes. I can relate to that. Caitlin McKay. Have you selected your inspirational artist? I do feel that Britney Spears inspires me. She did say, I'm rich. It's weird, but I'm really rich. I mean, ding dang, y'all. <laughs> Free Britney. I'm in a period of emotional upheaval. I mean, just ask the school therapist. Your mother and I are, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> Can I have a phone? 
hundred grand on the house. If I had that money, I'd buy this house and kick everyone out. Have you ever heard of racing pigeons? There was a dude. One of his birds is valued at one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Wait, <gasps> where does this pigeon dude live? Here in Portland. Boom. I'm going to steal this bird, and you are going to help me. What would make me want to commit a robbery with you? I'll make out with you. What can I do? What can I do? Hurry up. What can I say? What can Get back. I say? Get oh. back. Hi. Hi. My name is Jan Vari. This belongs to Caitlin. By taking that bird, you have destroyed her what's left of my life. When was the last time I was happy? Why didn't you call the cops that night? You're a good kid who made a stupid mistake. I want to help you get the bird back. What makes them come home? They love their home so much, they'll die trying to get back to it. Why did I think I could fix this? That's how you feel now. You have no idea how I feel. I promise you have a great life ahead of you. Are you afraid to die? I was sure that my life was a flock of birds, and I could feel them flying away. But everything can be all right as long as you're not alone. Let's do it. What you thinking about? Um kind of thinking about kissing you. Your Honor, he has shown real promise. I, I, I'm begging this court to give him the chance to realize that. Our charter's under state review again. We need a positive story. What's the matter with you, huh? Urban delinquents rehabilitated by tall trees and bright sunlight. The donors love that kind of stuff. Hoods in the woods. It'll look good on Facebook. The Grand Canyon. Are you kidding me? Thinking miles, not inches. What's it gonna clock out at? 750 miles? Good guess. 762. Each of these things is going to carry you across three states to the Grand Canyon. Well, hear me out. I got a plan. Why don't we just drive? If we drive it, I, I could do that. Right now, you are unfamiliar with your bicycle. The seat is killing my taint. Yeah, it's kind of stabbing my squeak. You'll get used to it. But by the end of this trip, you will become one with it. Oh, here we go. Ah. Oh, Grand Canyon, huh? You are going to learn to work together. Let's show the state who these kids really are. Hey, boys, when we ride together, we say ho. Ho! Oh! Oh! Not that steep. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Typical cyclist. Can't stay in your lane. That's a good one. Craig, if you take those boys across the desert, they're going to fall apart. They are going to see who they really are. Help! Slow down! I guess not! If you guys would just listen to me, we'll get through this. Trust me. Who are you, man? You think it's easy being us? You don't care about me. That's not true. You're always talking about wanting a crew. Well, this is our crew. Right here. I don't know how you work with those kids every day. High tolerance for pain, I guess. Does anybody want any butt butter for your uh, squeak? You nasty. Oh, I'm gonna lube up. Okay, let's not use that word. Do not get the buff up. Rudy, are you even listening to me? Hello? I think you can do anything. I think you could do that, but I also think that maybe there's a world where you put all of this creativity just towards a stable job or something more consistent with actual money. Sorry, what? I'm Rudy. Isabella. Isabella, prazer. Prazer. Mom? What?
For as long as I can remember, everyday regular sounds, I turn into rhythm. She's different, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's no, funny. Oh, tell me more. But now Haley, I think, wants to wants to get back together. Tell me less. But honestly, I don't think you actually know what you want. I'm figuring it out. Well, I know what I want. Just tell me, tell me what it is. Are you okay? No, I feel like everyone's pulling me in different directions, including my mom. I don't think Brazilian girls are the most beautiful. Uh, yeah. What? 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 What did you just say? I, I, I didn't say anything. Just give me a second. I what? I'm sorry. Let me no, just talk. Sweetie, I have to Can I come on? To die. To sleep. To dream. This is a clemency hearing for your conviction. 25 to life. Since you've been in custody, you've been involved in the theater program. All right, gentlemen, let's go. It's been a program that was established to help uh, people get more in touch with their feelings and it truly get some rehabilitation. I am Gladiator Goliath. I am Spartacus. I'm Prince Hamlet of Denmark. And it's turned into something of, I don't know, um, wonderful. What part do you play? From time to time, I do act, uh, like we all do. So are you acting at all during this interview? We're here to become human again and enjoy the things that is not in our reality. I think you guys are becoming real with each other, vulnerable. Listen, I already know what you're doing, know who you are, what you're about, bro. What? You don't get to tell me what I need in prison. You don't get to do that. And don't bring me in no dark corners no more. The world expects brothers like you and I to walk in with our heads held down. Nah, what you gotta walk in? Like a king. Everything is yours. I'm divine now. Yeah. This is my theater. Now give me some love, give me some love. Go to your most perfect spot. Do you hear anything? Are you with somebody? Are you outside? Hold that feeling. Let's go! go! You gotta admit that I murdered that Hamlet to <laughs> me, bro. Shakespeare is in his grave right now. He rolled over. You did your thing, beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-fourth between ninth and tenth. Want some radio? Not really. What's his name? It doesn't matter. Oh, I see. He's married. I'm gonna drive a cab twenty years and not know people. Why do you care? Who else are you gonna talk to about this? Not like you're ever gonna see me again. What about you? What about me what? How'd you meet your wife? She threw up in my cab. <laughs> <laughs> do you miss her? I do sometimes. Yeah. I drive around all day. You have time to do nothing but think, you know? Look, at the end of the day, people are people and people get lonely. If you have to choose between never having any soup again for the rest of your life, or never having oral sex again for the rest of your life, which would you choose? No soup. Hey, you're Hecla, right? That's right. I'm Benji Frank. We had a geography class together a couple years ago. Are you guys looking forward to tomorrow? Oh, of course. We haven't had the whole family together in, in two years. I just wish we didn't have to go. Then we don't have to go. 
I just need to ask a favor that you try to be uh, on your best behavior this weekend. There are a lot of people here tonight, and your mother and I want things to run smoothly. Nice to have the family all together again, huh? Where's Benji? Well, the truth is, I haven't stopped thinking about you since we met last night. I mean, I had such a good time, I just wanted to keep the conversation going, you know? I didn't give a damn about graduating today. He's bringing a day here. It's been four years since you and Sarah broke up. When you gonna... not act like you have any clue what's going on in my life. Shit. I don't want an empty nest. Can I kiss you? Let's try it. Mom, you married the wrong guy. Honey, if I hadn't married your father, you wouldn't be here. Half of me would. Say queso. Queso! queso. <laughs>I want to talk to you about Sophie. She's the one. Check out this bling. What? Marrying Sophie to get Canadian citizenship. It's brilliant. No, Dad. I've been asked to interview for the executive chef position at the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City. Quebec City, Canada? Yeah. Well, further north. Look at this place. 400 years of history. They're from New York, you're a Rangers fan? Oh, I actually don't follow hockey. <coughs> I love figure skating. Figure skating? The costumes, dazzling. So you're the famous Ruby Collins. And you must be Gordon. I've never got your family name. What the f Yeah, she told me she'd been with women before, but this is her ex. Don't work. She lied to you. She didn't lie. She was protecting my feelings. Pop the question before she switches teams again. <laughs> oh, my day was great. I tutored your brother. Je connais un gars pour mille piastres. Il peut um, smash her legs. A little bit done, you heard, Dane. I slaughtered a little baby lamb with your father. Oh, wow. Oh, and I also found out that you and Ruby used to be lovers. I brought you here because of your talent, not because of our history. I have the night off. Are you serious? Living in the city with my family really would be amazing. It feels like I can't do anything right, unlike Ruby, who can do absolutely no wrong. When a woman like that sets her sights on something, she always gets what she wants. Want to see him blank, Gordo? I got a fish! I love your daughter, and I'm not giving up that easy. I am the best at car chases! At this point, you probably all think I killed Mammy. Uh, uh, I didn't come in. I didn't come in. What's happening? I know, I'm just... It's so beautiful. Come here, kiss it I just want a house. I want a place I can call home, Nick. That's the American dream. Four walls, a patch of grass, a place to write my novel. What are you doing here? Get yourself a starter condo, like reasonable people do who have no money. Two hundred and forty thousand with live-in. What does that mean? The house is immaculate. It's worth every penny of the asking price. Her husband passed away years ago. They never had any children. Live there until she croaks. And I get the whole house. It's almost too good to be true. You want me to help you make the hot water colder? You must be Astrid. Did you hurt yourself? I fell. Did you break anything? Because if you break anything, you pay for it. Well, it was nice to meet you. She has offspring. This is one of my kids. I have a contested will in my future. I'm gonna sue you. And everyone involved with you! You exhaust me. Uh... You are an angel, Phil. I wanna feel your light. I'll evict you before the week's out. I've been having 
a series of very bad days. What if she lives another 20 years? Do you wish death upon her? Not tomorrow. You saved my life. No, no, no. Every time I see the light, I see your face. Just because I'm standing over you backlit. What kind of moron buys a house under such circumstances? <laughs> Are you crying? Sorry. They can take away everything, but they can't take away who you are. State your name. Alexander Ilyich Rostov. Occupation. It's not the business of gentlemen to have occupations. Your class is a threat against Russia. Therefore, it is the judgment of this committee that you be returned to the Metropole Hotel, where you will remain for the rest of your days. For the last four years, I have been a prisoner in suite 317 of the Metropole Hotel. It has a window at least. Just about fit on this bed. Ah. G-sharp, I believe. Times have changed since our glorious revolution. Most of my friends are dead. My house was seized and burned. You must never leave. If you do, I'll be waiting. Well, thank you. You have carried out your duties with the greatest courtesy available to you. Hello. Hello. I like your moustache. Oh, thank you. How are we going to survive these endless days stuck in this hotel? <laughs> I have a key that opens every door. There are rooms behind rooms and doors behind doors. In this hotel, everyone can be watched. It's a dangerous place, especially for you. She's an actress. Ah. I've seen her films. They're not very good. I'm afraid they're quite ill-behaved. I always think behavior is a matter of handling. Yes, I'm sure you do. Be very careful. You are still a prisoner here. I won't betray who I am, and neither should you. Everything in this new world comes at a cost. We could disappear. We could start again. This is still my country. What's your day? I believe he's refusing to be beaten. They can take away your house. They can take away everything. They can't take away who you are. You believe in heaven? I don't know if I believe in heaven. But I believe in hell. How long have you been on the job? A few weeks. This guy was from Colorado. I'm putting him in with Russ. I usually get here 10 minutes early. I like to ride with partners who do too. Yes, sir. To me. Die if you don't tell me. Go, go, go. You think these people like you? Outside with the dog, we're trying to treat them. I mean, yes, my dear. You think you're saving people? I give you about two weeks. What's going on? 30-year-old female. She just gave birth. Took some heroin for the pain. How's the baby? Is it worth it? It's the job. I did what I thought was okay, right. You ain't got what it takes for this life, yo. You start doing this because you want to help people. I don't want to go to the hospital. Let's go, let's get a life, yo. Sometimes you just end up doing the complete opposite. the truth. Do it. Did paramedic Rukowski intentionally withhold treatment? What am I doing? Helping people get better. I'm worried about you. You need help. I told him it was a mistake. Get away from me. Seriously, man, be careful. We all work in the darkness. You don't got
gotta let it inside you. You ain't got what it takes for this life, yeah. So you're the replacement, huh? Yeah. So, Nadia, I'm well, glad you could join us on such short notice. This is my first modeling job. This is a really good first gig. And you get to stay in the model house. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Is this you? Barely 10K and not even verified? She's just starting out. You're about to be a big model. You really think that? You're here, aren't you? Oh, we're gonna need some more toilet paper because I just took a mean old. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So you're probably now wondering who we are and what we want. But you're not being wrong. Your followers are. We're gonna go live. The more they give, the more you take off. It's been two hours, we should have more than that. We just let these idiots walk through that front door. Take our phones. Looks like you're in for a long night. We all have to meet our end someday. But not this way. No. Not today. No. Do you know how one survives this sort of change? Destiny. From now on, you'll be working to contribute to the German war effort. Your name? Irena Gut. You will be in charge of supervising the Jews. Your survival will depend on that. I have until July 22nd to make sure that this entire sector is Jew free. We have no place to go. I saw a place where I can hide you. Where no one would ever think of looking for you. In the house of one of the highest ranking German officers in Tarnopol. I made a vow then if I ever could save a life, I would. But if anything goes wrong, we all pay the price. I received a letter that I've been hiding Jews in my house! Does it matter who we are? What we do is who we are. I think we should have faith. Because if we don't, something else will die inside of us too. This might sound crazy. I don't want to alarm you. Do you remember a TV show we used to watch together? It was called... The Big of Eight? Yeah. Do you watch? Each episode, they help each other fight a new monster from across the county but it's way too scary for most kids. If we're gonna defeat him this time, we're gonna need to harness the full potential of our shared powers. Sometimes the pinko paint feels more real than real life. Maybe it was a TV show. Are you sure that's all it was? I like girls, you know that, right? Totally, that's fine. What about you? Do you like girls? I think that I like TV shows. <laughs> it's our destiny. How can I have a destiny? Something's wrong. This is how life is supposed to feel. Tell me you know it's true. Maddie, it's, it's just the suburbs. Seems like you're always somewhere else lately. 
Maddie disappeared without a trace. All they found was her TV set burning in the backyard. I told myself I made the right choice. What if I really was someone else? Very far away on the other side of a television screen.